I just wanted to quickly show how I got a HP Tuner's Standard Edition uh, working with the wideband. This is an AEM wideband. But uh, I saw a lot of videos online uh, about how to configure the software, but I didn't really see any videos on the, on the physical hookup. But I'll show you how I did it on this Gen 3 computer. First thing you have to do, really the only thing you have to do that's somewhat time consuming, is you're going to have to uh, uh, find pin 14 on uh, the green PCM connector. I think it'll work on the red one also, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it will. But that's the AC, uh, AC pressure sensor. And it's a red and black wire on your stock harness. But of course I removed that when I did this swap, so uh, I had to, I think this wire went to the rear O2s, so it's just one I had left over. So I just, I just pinned, uh, you know, this wire into pin uh, 14 of this, uh, of the green connector. And I just ran it across the motor and I just, you know, this is a temporary setup. I'm not going to keep the wideband in here just, just while I'm tuning. I just, there was, there was a hole in the far wall where the, uh, the cable throttle body went through, or cable, uh, throttle hookup went through. So I just ran it through there. So that's only that's the only connection under the hood. It's just that pin 14 on that connector. So the wire of course comes in down here by your feet and I drag it across this way. And here's the wire coming out right here. And uh, on the wide band, this is your power wires. This is a temporary setup, so I just put a cigarette light plug on the uh, a fused cigarette lighter plug on the uh, for the power wires. It's obvious. And then this is a serial output from the wideband. We're not going to worry about that. They say it's the resolution's pretty slow on it, so we don't do we don't use that. And this is the analog output. It's uh, zero to five volts for your uh, uh, to run back. It's connected to that wire that was running back to uh, pin 14 on the PCM. And I've been playing around with it. It works absolutely perfect. Um, there's a video on uh, YouTube by Edward Moton, M-O-W-T-O-N, I believe is his name. And uh, he shows you in that video how to set HP tuners up. You have to do certain math uh, parameters and stuff like that. It's not real hard, but you need to, you need to pay very close attention to the screenshots. And uh, make sure everything you have in the screenshot on the computer matches your system because there's a lot of little things you have to be careful decimal places and brackets and everything else it's not hard to do uh, just follow what he has online basically is all you have to do that's it I've used it it uh, I've got this car running a whole lot better uh, as far as the O2 sensor I mean, obviously this uh, plugs into here via I don't know one of these where is it yeah this one it plugs in here and all I'm doing is I didn't even I haven't even welded in a bung yet on the on the uh, on the exhaust. I'm just uh, I just when I when I'm tuning, I just unscrew the factory or not the factory, but the the narrow band right here, let it droop, and uh, just plug that uh, the wide band in right there. Screw it in and just run the wire up the uh, into the door up the door. So that's uh. That's how you physically install the, the HP tu tuners, uh, or the input for the HP tuners wideband. Not hard to do. Very easy, and it works good. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's almost more. You know, I don't know. Maybe there is a difference in the resolution. Maybe this one's actually when you do it this way. Maybe it doesn't update as quickly, and maybe you're actually behind on your air fuel mixtures. I don't know that, but it's it's almost a more. It's almost a better way of doing it because you don't have wideband wires going into the side of your your unit i mean it's all you know i have it strong everywhere because i'm going to use this on several cars but um you know you could tuck all this away and mount your gauge under the dash and you would never even know your wideband was even hooked up to your hp tuners because it's coming coming the input's coming in through the the pcm so i don't know i i assume there's there's one there's i assume that the resolution there maybe it just doesn't update as fast maybe that's why you know it's not talked about as much i don't know that but Anyway, that's all I wanted to share.